In November 1981, I joined the Army, and after about six months of training, I soon found myself in the small town of Swabish Gamun, Germany. I was stationed at Bismarck Cassern, seen here in this picture from 1960. This was the home of the 56th Field Artillery Brigade headquarters, and I lived in the headquarters barracks located here. And I worked in the headquarters building located here. Here's an orientation issue of the Persian cable they gave to incoming soldiers. Welcome to the 56th Field Artillery Brigade! German-American relations were a big deal when I was there, especially in Swabish Gemund. A lot of people weren't crazy about having Persian missiles stored in their backyards, so it was really important to get along with the neighbors. During the event depicted in this picture, they even let us enlisted guys into the officers club. That's me in the middle, making friends with Germans. But hey, what better way to make friends than to host a fest? This picture is taken from a window in the headquarters barracks. You can see the headquarters office building on the left. Here's another picture taken from the headquarters barracks. Any of you who were stationed on Bismarck Cassern around this time may recognize the inflatable gym at the top left of the picture. Here's some actual footage of the fest. This shot's being taken from the window of the headquarters barracks. Here was a really good army buddy of mine named Todd Arner. Hi, Todd. Oh, that there, that pretty German woman's named Danny. Oh, and this guy, that's that's uh, Tom Copeland. We called him Rugrat. He was quite a character. Great guy, one of the best friends I had over there. He was a unique one. Oh. There's Greg Allen with a knife, and that's that's Paul Marion helping him out. I guess they're threatening to cut his throat unless I buy a taco from the taco stand. I shot this movie using a Super 8 camera I bought when I was like 16 years old. It didn't have any sound capability. So funny to think this is what we had back then when even the the least expensive smartphone today can shoot high definition video with sound. I slowed the film down here hoping it could make things clear, but those old Super 8 movie cameras shot at 18 frames per second, so it's it's pretty blurry still. The guy with the shades is named Tom, and I believe the woman is a German named Katja. I believe this guy's named Mike Crozen. Oh, there we are on the bumper cars. I'm riding around with one of my sergeant's kids. There we are, crashing into Rugrat. I'm guessing here, but I think this guy is named Doug Halk. Or maybe Jeff Halk. At any rate, his last name is Halk. I can't remember the name of the guy on the left here. That's Armando Lopez. We just called him Lopez. He was a super nice guy from Brooklyn. There's a better picture of him in the corner. There's Craig Pearson. There's the classic Himalaya ride, going around with hardly anybody on board. There I am. As you can see, I was a pretty burly guy. I'm showing off my superior strength for the camera. Oh, now it's Todd's turn. Which one of us do you think was stronger? And somehow we ended up in the beer tent listening to good old rock and roll music. Or maybe it was country western. Hard to say without any sound. There's Todd.
don't remember her name, but it looks like she's having a pretty good time. There I am, doing what I did best over there. Ah, to be 20 again. Hey, there's Casey Teixeira. And we close out this movie with uh, another shot from the barracks window. Here's another Bismarck Cern memory from the EM Club. The name of the band is Chaos. I knew I was working for the Army, but I certainly wasn't a barracks rat. Truth is, I spent most of my free time off post soaking in the German culture, along with a lot of beer and making friends. It truly was one of the best and most educational experiences of my life. And I wouldn't trade it for anything. So many memories. Here's one last look at the Cacern. Even though the picture's from 1960, it looked pretty much the same way when I left it in 1984. The 56 Field Artillery Brigade folded up its flag in 1991 and the Cacern became a home to the University of Maryland global campus for about 10 years before it closed. Since 2004, some of the buildings have been used as a grammar school for highly gifted children. With all the renovations, the Cacern bears very little resemblance to the military facility it once was. If you were stationed on Bismarck Cacern, please leave a comment with some of your memories. Thanks for watching.